This is a printable moon phases craft that can be used to teach about the moon as part of a unit on the night sky, or to make an adorable decoration and have fun learning at the same time. To prep the moon phases craft, first print out the eight moons. Each moon phase has a section that's blank and part that shows the texture of the moon. Start by coloring all the blank sections black. This will help students keep track of which part of the moon to color and which part is not visible. Next, color the visible shapes on the moon. If students will be painting the background after coloring, it works well if you pick a darker shade of the color that you'll be painting with. It can also be helpful to color with wax crayon. I use pencil crayon and that works too as long as the paint you're using is thin. For this video example, I did three different options. For one garland, I colored with dark yellow and then painted light yellow on top. The back of the circle where the names go can be colored with pencil crayon or painted. For the yellow garland, I colored the back with pencil crayons. The second one I colored gray and then left the background white. And the third I colored dark blue and then did a watercolor wash of light blue on top. I also chose to paint the back of the blue moon garland. To paint the moon phases craft, do a test section first to make sure that the colored pencil will show through the paint. I used a light watercolor wash and painted over the whole section and the darker segments still show through. If using regular printer paper, it may buckle a little bit. It can always be pressed under a book once dry to help it flatten out again. If possible, it's great to print them out on a thicker cardstock paper or watercolor paper if you plan on painting them. For this example, I use regular printer paper. When painting the back of the moons where the names are, I taped over the titles with washi tape and then painted on top. This helps the title stand out and be easily readable. If doing this technique, make sure to remove the tape once the paint is completely dry. To assemble the garland, start by folding the page along the dotted line. It is helpful to hold the page up to a light to ensure that the two sides match up before cutting out the moons. Next, cut out all eight moon phases. Keep the moons attached along the top by the dotted line. This helps make assembly easier. If they accidentally get detached, that's okay. Simply tape or staple them back together. It's helpful to number the moon phases to remember the correct order when placing them on the string. To attach them together, start by cutting a piece of string and then folding it in half to find the middle. Next, start from the middle and work your way to the outside, then repeat on the other side. This helps ensure that the circles are centered on the string. If the moons are overlapping, then they can always be slid carefully along the string after they're glued to space them out more. And lastly, find a place to display your moon phases garland. I hope you had tons of fun.